Hey guys, today I will be doing a overview of my t-shirt making process. This will be a longer video than what I usually have done in the past. So let's just get right to it. Uh, my first step is thinking of what design I want to do, of course, and then I will go online, as you see, and look for a high resolution picture of that character or logo that I want. I uh, usually do anime or superhero type characters, but I also do business logos for anyone interested. So I, I copy and save the image and then bring it into my, the program I use, which is Adobe Animate CC, formerly known as Adobe Flash. As you saw with this image, I zoom in and it gets blurry. I can't have that on a shirt. So what I do is trace the image because Adobe Animate uses vector art. No matter what you do, you can zoom into it, stretch it, you can shrink it, enlarge it, skew it. The design will not lose resolution and will not lose it will not lose the information that makes up the artwork. Unlike a photo where it uses pixels, vector art does not use pixels. So you can manipulate it any way you want. So that's why I trace the design on this program because I need the design once I print it, I need it to be crisp and sharp. So the design comes out really nice and clear on the shirt. So the white box you see here is going to be the actual size of the transparent film that I print out. So this design is too small right now. I don't want it to be that small. So what I'm going to do is enlarge it so the design is going to come out on two different pages of the transparent film and then I'll just tape those together. And there are the images, nice sharp high res images and then I tape them together and get ready for the press. So the next step is being in a dark room because this uh, screen is covered in emulsion, this uh, pink chemical, and it cannot be hit by light yet. I do have yellow light there. Yellow light is safe for the emulsion chemical. This is like developing a, a photo. You need to be in a dark room for that. So I line up the design with the line that I have drawn on the board there. I just want to make sure the design is nice and straight so it's not crooked on the shirt. And then I bring the screen down and then just push down the tape so the film will stick to the screen here. Now when I bring the screen to my, my glass table and shine the light on it, so the light will activate the emulsion chemical that's on the screen, solidifying it so it will not wash out. But since the design is blocking the light from hitting the spot it's covering, so it will wash out since that part of the emulsion does not activate from the light because it is being blocked. Hope that makes sense. I know it's kind of confusing. I'm not really good at explaining things. Sorry. So I wash it out, let it dry for like an hour and a half, two hours, have a fan on it, and then I get to work. Put it, I'll, I attach it to my press and make sure it lines up the, with the straight line. Tighten it, make sure it doesn't move around. What I first do is use a test shirt to make sure the design comes out good. A lot of times there'll be little pinholes in the emulsion and the ink will come through it and just mess up the shirt. This particular shirt is going to be white ink on a black shirt. This white ink is really thick. The white, the white ink is the thickest of the inks because they have to put a lot of pigment into it because it is white. My little sister is helping me today. She's going to be holding the camera at some points. All right, so the design came out good. Now I'm ready to go to the actual shirt. Got to make sure it's nice and smooth, the shirt. Make sure everything's lined up, even with the line. So I do one stroke first, and then go over it again. Make sure I get all the ink down through the design, through the silk screen. And then I flat, this is a flash dryer, so I'll, I'll, I'll dry it real quick, just so it's dried to the touch on the surface. And then I will go over it again with another pass, just so the design is more opaque, the white's more opaque. And that is my little sister helping me. So this is the final product, and yep, came out pretty good. My shirts are available on my Etsy shop, Phenom Studios. Say hi.
Jessica, thank you. Just check that out. I have many, many designs, superheroes, anime characters, bands, manga, sci-fi, cartoons, anything you can think of. Phenom Studios, thanks for watching.